Welcome back to my channel. We're starting off with brows and I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in shade 5. Starting at the base of the brow, just making a straight line and then going towards the tail of the brow where I'm super sparse and need to use some more brow bow because, you know, you gotta grow these brow hairs out. It's literally the hardest thing to grow your brow hairs out, but I've used Benefit's brow bow before and it's just amazing. So I definitely would recommend that because it does really help your hair grow. So I just have to get back into using that every day. Anyways, if you use the Brow Wids by Anastasia and you want to try something new, I really recommend this. It looks super natural. You don't need a lot. And it's just, I love it. It's just a great dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wids if you just want to try something else. So I'm just making some short strokes, blending it out with a little spoolie, and we're just doing a basic natural brow. Feathered a little bit. I'm using the 24 hour brow setter, which I actually really liked. Um, that was the first time me using it that day, and it actually really stayed pretty well. Now I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to conceal these brows and this is my new favorite concealer to conceal my brows with. I'm using a Brush Love Flat Eyeliner Brush. This concealer is so thin and creamy and not drying. I love it. Didn't know how much I would love it but I really do love it for underneath the brow bone because it's just so lightweight. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't dry out and you guys know if you have watched my channel before that I have had a problem with trying to find a good concealer for the, under the brow. Now, I'm going to be priming my eyes with Painterly, of course, by MAC. I'm using a 286 from MAC to do this. You don't have to use a brush, but, you know, I think my uh, Painterly is starting to empty out and I don't want to get my nails in it. We're going to be using the Subculture palette today. It's a little messy because I tried my ass off to get a look for you guys um, a couple of days ago, but it just didn't work out, so we're trying again. Starting with New Wave, I'm using a 2.4 brush from Samy, and we're going to put this in the crease. Now, when I say less is more, I really, 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 really mean it, you guys. With this palette, you have to be super careful on how much product you put on it. This is a more buildable kind of palette. You need to go like one step at a time, like dab your brush in, put it on, blend, blend, blend. And if you really, really need some more, dab it in again, blend, blend, blend. After using my usual techniques with um, this palette, it just wouldn't work. And I just had to be more precise and more careful with my placement of colors and the amount of product that I picked up with the brush. So you really don't need much to make this eyeshadow work for you. So this palette is super, super beautiful. Very extremely pigmented as, as you guys have seen. Is it practical? Not really because it does have very awkward colors, but if you are that awkward kind of person, you just like to try new things like that, um, I totally recommend it. I'm using Untamed and putting it on the outer V going into the crease. But you see how much I grabbed? I barely, barely touched the shadow. And look how much shadow has put on my lid. Has been put on my lid. <laughs> so I'm just blending slowly into the crease because I do not want anything to look too patchy. So that's why I work on that first dab for so long because I've tried it with so much product and it just did not work for me. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you probably saw that whole thing play out and how frustrated I was, but I'm so happy that I finally got a look together for you guys. So now I'm just going back and forth. You can see that the shadow skips a little bit in the inner corner there, but just be sure to just keep blending back and forth and that will smooth out. Like I said, the shadows are crazy pigmented, so you really want to make sure they're all blended before you keep adding and adding and adding more product. So I'm just putting that into the crease, blending 
blending, blending my butt off. Like, this video is just blending. It's literally like 10 minutes of me blending. But for this palette to work, at least for me, I really had to be precise, go slow, and work it out. Using an M507 brush from Morphe, I'm using New Wave again. And I started in the inner corner because I wasn't sure what exactly I wanted to do yet. Usually I just sit down and play with the palette and just, you know, go with the flow. So I actually decided that I wanted it to be my lid color, but I stopped in the center lid. And I actually really liked this pencil brush to apply it because it didn't take up too much product. Um, it didn't pick up too much, so it wasn't like overwhelming and um, I could go, I could easily build the color up you know, and not have it look too patchy or anything like that. So that is why I chose that brush. Now I'm using a blending brush, an old blending brush from Sephora, and I'm barely tapping in Axis because Axis is a crazy messy color. So I'm barely tapping it in and just trying to keep it on the outer V and slightly put it into the crease, but blending, obviously, all of it out. You can see I'm just adding a little bit of color on the outer V because that's where I really want it to be smoky. And then I'll go back in with that pencil brush and put on some more New Wave. For a liner, we're using the Kat Von D liner in Trooper, the tattoo liner. I was so happy to like be at this point where my, I was happy with the look and to put the liner in. You guys have no idea. Like I was just jumping for joy inside, as you guys can see. How excited I was. <laughs> Anyways, I'm putting on Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. I actually really like this mascara. Not as much as the TARDIS one, but I like it for defining. It's really good for defining, especially the lower lashes. I'm using this Cover FX Illuminating Primer to prime my face, get a little bit of glow going. And then I'm going to drip this all over my hand. I'm using the M439 brush by Morphe with my Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. And you guys know this is my Holy Grail foundation. I just love it so much. I can't get enough of it. I've actually bought so many other foundations that I haven't even touched yet because I just can't keep my hands off this guy. So for concealer, I'm using the Shape Tape Concealer, obviously, in medium. And we're gonna highlight with the Sigma Beauty 3D HD Blender. And we're gonna blend it out. If you guys didn't know, I do have a code for Sigma Beauty. You can use code Gianna and you guys will get 10% off. And this is literally my favorite blender ever. I love it more than the Beauty Blender because it is a little bit more dense. So, yeah. Now, to set the sides of the nose and a little bit underneath the eye, I'm not going to go too far into the cheekbone because I want to use a liquid highlight and I don't want it to be too powdery there. So I'm just keeping the powder close to the inner eye. And I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with a F23 brush by Sigma to bronze and contour. Love this brush for that. It's probably the best brush that I've ever used to contour and bronze up because it's just super soft and goes on super easy and the brush is just so smooth and I love the cut of it because it just kind of fits in those areas. It's perfect. I'm just going to go over with the blender again just to kind of take any excess product off. And then I'm taking New Wave and I'm putting it on the lower lash line to start the lower lash line smokiness. And then I'm going to take All Star with a pencil brush. This is an E15 from Sigma. And I'm going to just draw a line. And then I'm just going to smoke it out and make sure it's nice and blended. Maroon and blue look kind of cool together. So I'm now using the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. I'm going to define my lower lashes. And for lashes today, we're using the Gigi Bell Lashes in Gianna. Look how weird that is. That's my face. Oh my god, lord. Okay. So we're going to apply that right on there. These are my favorite lashes, you guys. If you guys didn't know, this is my own, my own lash line. Very proud of it. I hope you guys can check it out if you want to. And I'm not going to force anything on you guys. Anyways, so I'm going to use Electric in the inner corner. You can wet this if you want. I really didn't feel it was necessary to because I actually was happy with the pigment. And as long as you build it, 
it works. Now using the F37, I'm wiping away all the excess powder. Do not mind that little piece of tape sticking out. My extensions needed to be fixed, so just don't mind my ratchetness. Anyways, I'm putting on um, Captivating by Tarte with an F10 from Sigma. And we're going to be using this E41 by Sigma and applying the Liquid Glow Highlights by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I use Bronze and Peach Viz and I just really loved the way this looked. It blended insanely, no patchiness, no cakiness, it just looked beautiful. And I actually really liked to apply it with my finger instead of the blender. I thought it blended out much better with the warmth of my finger. And I'm not flipping you guys off, I just always use my middle finger. I don't know why, I just do. So sorry about that. I'm just gonna put that on the brow one as well, but I just love the way this looked. Oh, God. Anyways, now I'm going to use Rogue Lipstick, one of the Anastasia New Lipsticks. Um, it is super pigmented, creamy, but um, I'm just going to have to try some more colors out. I like the way this felt, but you know, like when it sticks to the inner part of the lip, that's what it was doing to me. So we'll see, we'll see. Setting with the All Nighter Spray. And that is it, you guys. That is my soap culture look. I'm so happy that this came out nice. Oh, I hope you guys like it and enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any suggestions for my next video, totally comment that below and I will check them out. And if you are not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe and like this video if you have enjoyed it. So I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Do I feel love? I don't have a clue. Will you love me?